In this quiz problem, for this quiz problem, we are asked to consider the sinusoidal voltage V of T, and it's equal to 100 cosine 240 pi T plus 45 degrees, and we are measuring this in VRMS. This is very, very, very important because this VRMS is not the same as this VM right here. Normally, when we write this equation, if this was in V, just V, not VRMS, we would have that our VT is equal to our Vmax times the cosine of our omega times T plus 45 degrees. Now, with this VRMS, none of this changes. The only thing that changes is this first part because we can see in here it is Vmax while over here it is VRMS and this is measured in V. To convert from VRMS to V or vice versa, we would use the following equation. Our VRMS is equal to our Vmax divided by the square root of two. So that is the equation for that. Now we can use this equation to solve A, our V max. We can say that our V max is going to be equal to our V RMS times the square root of two. Now rewriting this, we're gonna get that our V max is equal to, we know our V RMS to be 100. So we're just multiplying this by the square root of two. And if we do this, we are going to get that our answer is equal to approximately 141.42. And this is measured in volts. We are next asked what is the frequency of VT in Hertz. Well, another formula we can use is that our omega is equal to two pi times F. We know our omega, it's right here. So the equivalent is this 240 times pi. We are going to use this to solve. Our omega is 240 pi, like I just said. We're gonna divide both sides by this two pi. That way we can get F by itself and we're gonna set this equal. If we do this, we can see that our frequency is 120 hertz. For part C, we are asked what is the frequency of VT in radians per second? So we want to find our omega now. Well, our omega, we know to be this 240 pi. We um, wrote that right here. So we can just write that our omega is equal to 240 times pi. And now we're just going to multiply these together. And if we do so, we are going to get our answer is equal to approximately 753.98, and this is rads per second. Next, we are asked, what is the phase angle in radians? Well, our phase angle is always this part. I wrote 45 degrees here. However, that is not correct. So what we're going to do is erase this because this right here, I meant to just be kind of like an outline of how we would solve this for any general problem. So this would be the degrees. This is the phase angle. Now, to convert from angles to radian, we're gonna take our angle, we're going to multiply it by pi over 180. And if we were given a radian, we would multiply it by 180 divided by pi. So this is going to be equivalent to the 45 times pi divided by 180. And this is gonna give us approximately zero 0.79 and this is radians. Lastly, we were asked what is the period T in milliseconds? Well, T, we're gonna use this equation, is equal to one over the frequency. Our frequency is 120 hertz, so we can write that our T is equal to one over 120 hertz. And then if we divide this out, we are gonna get 0 0.0083 and this is just repeating. Now this is going to be in seconds. So T is equal to this. We want our answer in milliseconds though. So we're multiplying this by one milli over 10 to the negative cubed. So we're going to move this over one, two, three times, and that will give us an answer of 8.33. And that's how you would go about solving this problem. And that's kind of the basic of the sinusoidal voltage setup.